went back to work at eight, when he was eight weeks old because I was mm. finishing my contract at the radio station. I was like, well, I need to get as much of that money as I can before, yeah. I, before I come to the end of work. And so I would get up in the morning and express milk and then go off to the radio station and beautiful Dylan Lewis mm. would sit there while we were playing music and I would use my breast pump while the songs were playing and then turn it off and then we'd have our talk mm. break and then turn it back on and stuff. And that breast milk became the most liquid gold. valuable thing in yes. the universe. And I was yes. driving home after one shift, because Chris would be at home feeding Debbie with the express milk. I'm driving home after this shift and Chris rings up going, something terrible's happened. And oh. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I pulled over I was like, what, is he all right? And he's like, he's fine, but I'm really sorry. I knocked a bottle of breast milk oh. off. And we both cried. We literally cried over spilt milk. I would have too. I would have like, too. That is, but what? That was an hour's worth of. It's so much work. Or in the hospital when you first that weird coloured stuff that comes yeah. out at the beginning and backs attached wrong to start with, so I couldn't feed him properly. And I'm expressing, and the teeniest bit came out, and Sam knocked it, and I was like, oh. I have. <laughs> I actually have feelings of hate right now. Like this is so, I'm so, because it, it's so much work oh. to get this teensy bit. And I remember the nurse go, good job. And it'd feel like half yeah, a teaspoon. Yeah. And be like, oh my God, yeah. is this seriously what this yeah. is? And the other thing that no one told me, the best thing we ever did, the best thing we ever did was get a lactation consultant. They, yeah. And they totally saved, saved my life. Because we had trouble with breastfeeding. Book it in as soon as you, oh, the, the day you get out of yeah, the hospital, yeah. that's and my advice. And they were advice. just be beautiful women, you yeah. know, digby poodle down one of their legs and they're like, well, it happens all the time. Like, that's why we wear black pants. Like they're totally, just yeah. totally cool with everything. But um, no one warned me that they said your boobs will get bigger, but they didn't tell me they'd be different sizes. Oh, one so, eight different sizes? <laughs> they had the uber boob and then just a bottle top. Like it was, oh, like cause, it was yeah, because they'll feed more out of one. Mine well, ended no, up just, like that towards the yeah, end. Yeah, no, they just did it themselves. One of them just got bigger, but the other one got enormous. And then, yeah. so I was doing some TV, and so we, we would spend ages padding up one side, so I just wasn't this massive, lopsided creature. I was like, so nobody warned me.